Good morning, guys. Guess where we are with the whaler. Yes, sir, we are in 10,000 Islands. My last video got a couple comments about us keeping the trout. Um, I just want to um, explain the end of the red zone that extends all the way up to Tampa down into Collier County for catch and release redfish snook trout only goes as far south as about Naples. I think the exact location is Wiggins Pass. I'm not 100% sure on the exact location, but I do know it's in Naples. And we are about 10 to 15 miles south of that and then further um, in Marco Island, basically. So we are able to keep trout and redfish, not snook right now because it's not in season, but when they are in season, you're able to keep them. My goal is just to come out here and catch some good fish today and, and try out some, some new spots that we didn't get to hit with, with Brian. But I think today, today should be a nice productive day. I have seen a lot of dead uh, mullet and catfish, which kind of worries me. I mean, there goes a dead mullet right there. Dead mullet. So I might, I might just uh, head further south now in the morning um, just to get away from some of these dead fish because if there's dead fish, it's dead water. Big trout. Big trout. Big old trout. There he goes. That's fine with me. I didn't have to touch him. Nice snook. Nice snook. Nice snook. Neither had to have been something else on there. Nice snook this morning, guys. I need to back up there. I'm out here solo today, and you know, 10K is a big place. There's a lot of boats running around. There's a lot of blind corners, so I decided to wear the, uh, the automatic PFD my dad got me for Christmas. So, you know, safety first, always. Don't want a f snook, man. Hang on, little guy. So, guys, we've uh, we've had a little bit of a rough day. So, first time bringing the whaler down here. Third time being down here, really ever. Caught one good trout, a couple little tiny snook, some lady fish and stuff. Yeah, we're not having too much good luck on the redfish. I'm not sure as of right now if I got it on video or not, but there was right in front of the boat, there was like five, six, seven, eight. I couldn't even count them all. There was freaking whole school of redfish and I was like, controlling motor was messing up. Motor was dragging the ground. Wind was pushing me into the fish. I was getting wind knots in my other rod, but we're still giving it hell. I mean, I'm gonna try this spot right here until the tide kind of comes in a little more. So I'm just gonna kind of work this, work this bank down into this channel. Baby. 
Yeah! 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 That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what we came out here for. That's what we came out here for. He's all on the bottom of the boat. We just gonna leave him for right now while I set up. 23, baby. 23. Going home, son. All right, guys. We've completed our mission. We're going home. Nah, just kidding. We're gonna fish all day. I don't really want to keep any trout, but I might if I catch like the right size one. But we got one in the bag, or one in the box. He's bleeding out right now. Probably about to take him out, get him, get him in the cooler. Yeah, we we accomplished our mission, 10K. Three trips, took three trips for us to zero down. Well, two trips in Brian's boat, a, tr a trip in the whaler, of course. And let me tell you, we worked hard for this one. The water is super low. It's finally now coming back in. We finally, we came out of this creek right here. I was just kind of blind casting. I saw this little flat right here where you can see the sand more. And I cast it a little bit beyond it. And and he uh, he kind of messed with it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't really know that I had him until he was pretty much right next to the boat. I caught him in the net as quick as I could. deal.